Hey guys, Serial here. I come across a lot of streamers, especially the smaller ones that don't have their VOD set up or their video on demand. That means no one can go back and watch your stream later, including yourself. So I'm going to make a quick video here and show you guys how to get that set up in just a few seconds. So you're going to start from your main Twitch page. You're going to want to click on your username in the top right or your user icon. Go down to Creator Dashboard. From there, take the right to Stream Manager. You want to click down to Preferences. Click down to Channel. And the third thing there is Store Pass Broadcast. It's just a little checkbox. And that says on here, it automatically saves broadcast for up to 14 days. 60 days if you're a partner or a Prime member. So what that means is it's 14 days for everyone just by clicking the box. But if you're a Twitch partner, you get 60 days of storage. Or if you just link your Amazon Prime account to Twitch. Um, I think they call that Prime Gaming. If you have those linked, you'll get actually 60 days of storage from your VODs. That means anyone can go back, including yourself, go back and look at those previous broadcasts for up to 60 days. While you're in here, you also want to scroll down and just double check the latency mode. I see a lot of small streamers especially that are in normal latency mode versus low latency. Normal latency will give you a time between what something you do to the time that people see it in chat is going to be about 6 to 8, sometimes even 10 seconds. If you switch that down to low latency mode, you'll see that go down to about three seconds on average. Um, so if you see people complaining about a slow chat or maybe that your stream is behind or something like that, you'll definitely want to check that and make sure that's on low latency mode. So that's it, guys. Just make sure your checkbox is there for store pass broadcast. Next time, I'll show you how to set it up where you can store these things permanently. Um, there's a couple of methods for that, so be on the lookout for that video. And otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.